Now at demo 5, we will build on demo 4 code and add sticky header support. Now, using sticky headers in the past was not an easy business. Now, with the Jetpack Compose, though, this is a no-brainer anymore. But before we implement the sticky headers, let's talk a little bit about how they work so we know what we're going to build. Now, sticky headers represent groups of data. Every record in our data set contains a section number. So to have a sticky header based on sections, we should group our persons per section. So the idea is to break the single large list of persons into a number of smaller persons lists, one per section. We can represent that with a map where the key will be the integer number of the section and the value will be the subset of our person list belonging to that section. Now, we can uh, break our existing list into a map of smaller lists per section with the following code. We will take our persons list and we will group by the lists section. And that's it. Now we have a map with key, the section, and value, all the sublists. So for each of our map entries, we will get section and we'll display a list for that section. So let's do that. So we will run a for each and now here we will have as a key the integer value of the section and as the value the uh, sublist. So let's represent that here section and the section persons. All right, so here our section will be our key and our section persons will be the list for that section. So we can present a sticky header, but because the sticky header is currently a, an, ex, an experimental feature, we need to annotate it as such. So now we can write our sticky header and our sticky header will contain some text with that header and it will also contain some items. So we put that inside here, all right? However, our items will not be all our persons. Otherwise, for each sticky header, we would repeat our persons. So instead of that, we will get the section person. So we will get this sublist here. So our items will be this sublist. Okay, now we should also emit some text with our section. And we will say here, for example, section and section. So here we will display a text with our section as a header and then the list of items. Let's see how this works. And it works. It shows section one, which is sticky, but it doesn't look very good. However, you see that the functionality is working fine. Our section two substituted section one. So let's improve a little bit our design. So let's change our text a little bit, add a few name parameters. And now we will make it a white text in a black background. So let's do that. And then add a modifier. Um, and set the background to be um, color black. And add a little bit of padding. 
let's say 8 dp and we should make it occupy the entire width so make it fill max width all right so let's see how that goes and now this looks much better we have our section and we have our section two and section one you see this looks much better and every 15th person we get a new section so that's it now as you saw we added the functionality required to implement sticky headers for our lazy column and it works and looks pretty pretty good if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask by contacting me through the comment section below thanks see ya